Hi and welcome to Plastic Models by a Regular Dude. Today is December 31st and I thought I would do my video to talk a little bit about what's coming up for the year 2019. So let's take a look and see what I'm going to have on the bench. Alright, first up I've got the Tacom M3 Lee Mid that I've been working on. I'm up to the point where I just need to put the uh, grouser box on the front and get that painted up and that will uh, well, that will finish that one get it painted the markings and uh, and some weathering and then that will that will be finished so that's going to be the first thing I want to get done here in 2019 uh, the next one I want to get done I think uh, will be the Tamiya 148 scale F4F-4 Wildcat. Now this one I'm going to be doing as um, plastic models for beginners build. And this is going to be kind of a back to basics thing. And I don't know if I've really talked too much about just, just doing a plain aircraft and just um, being done with it. I, I did another one, but it had a lot of modifications and stuff to it. So um, I think I'm going to do this one just as a basic build right out of the box and do the build, the complete build and painting, decaling and painting uh, as its own series. And then I'll do a separate series on the same aircraft uh, doing the weathering and all that for it. So another one I want to do for the um, Plastic Models for Beginners is this one here. Now this one I'm just going to, um, it's one that my brother had started back in the late 80s and as you can see it is uh, partially done but not completely um, so what I'm going to be doing with this one is I'm going to um, do it it's going to be uh, a kit on how to do two things number one I think I'm going to do Zimmerit on this one uh, using putty and the reason I'm doing doing it on this kit is it's fairly easy. It's you know it's got these flat panels. There's no turret to deal with or anything like that because the the Zimmer was only applied um, part way up the sides on these things from what I can see in photos. But I'm gonna do Zimmer on here, and then I'm also going to be doing uh, a tricolor camouflage scheme um, and show how I do that. And the reason being is I I had one uh, viewer ask on one of my earlier kits uh, here recently um, added a comment asking how I do camouflage so I told him that I was going to be doing one here pretty soon and I think this will be the basis for it um, you know it's the old uh, Tamiya kit um, the date on it is let's see if I can find a date and I can't but it's it's an older it's an older kit and I don't see a date on it anywhere. There might be one on a spree somewhere, but anyway, it, it's, it's an old kit and there are better, um, young tigers out there. So I figured this one would be good for a, uh, a test bed for doing that for the beginner series. So this one will be Zimmerit and uh, tricolor camouflage scheme. Then at some point, um, and I'll probably, so far, I think I'm, I may do them in this order, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, this Bronco uh, Sturmgeschutz 3 uh, was done, started as a buddy build with Peter Person, my Swedish friend. And um, he had another bout with leukemia and had to bow out of the buddy build. So I put it on the uh, back burner because I wanted to wait for him. And... Um, as he was getting better and recovering from all that and going through treatments, he told me to just go ahead and, and finish it up. And I, I never got around to it, but he's kind of, uh, seems like he's wanting to stick more with smaller scale stuff. He's built a few 172nd scale kits that are really super nice. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with this and uh, get it done. So the actual assembly is complete. And uh, all I need to do is um, do the paint job. 
and recently he also sent this in the mail which i think he was going to use on his kit and i think i'm going to go ahead and use it on this one if it fits properly which it should i think but uh, I'll, I'll check it out and if it fits i think i'm going to use um some of it if not all of it uh to really you know doctor this kit up so uh that's what's going to go on with this one and this one's going to be done in panzer gray just like the uh cover art here so that'll be a fun one it'll be nice to get this one kind of completed next up will be this one um now if you've been following my channel you know uh you'll know that i finished one of these either early last year or late the year before and um, it was the one that actually came in this box and i lost a part and so i ordered another one on ebay which was actually the monogram boxing of the same kit took that part out and put it in there so what's in this box is actually the old monogram kit and uh, this is the part that has uh when i got it uh, this um i started i glued these uh, fuselage halves together because i have a plan for it and uh, what i'm going to do is um number one it's going to be since i used one of the uh, landing gear parts out of this one for the revel version um, i'm going to build this one with gear up and uh, jim decker sent me this uh, figure right here um, so i can have a pilot so i'll be using him for that and um, what i want to do is i want to do this one in a metal finish with like the putty or whatever they put on the uh on the panel lines and stuff um because you know i'm really digging this uh bare metal finish since i've discovered these vallejo acrylic metal color airbrush colors so that's a plan for this one um there's not gonna be much as far as like you know the engine detail and all that kind of stuff i'm not gonna worry about that i'm gonna really focus on the exterior of the kit because the gear is gonna be up and um uh, get it all put together like that and uh you know i'll be doing a series on it to kind of follow the progress but it won't be one of my beginner things because there's this kit here's you know there's some fit things that going on with this particular kit and i'll have to fix those up um so i want to i don't want to get it all complicated or anything but that's the plan for this one so this is another kit i got from uh, peter person uh, he sent in a bigger box of kits and uh, this one it's partly assembled um, the uh, um, the main body of the vehicle is done so what i'm going to be doing with this one is uh let me get that one put together get it all ready to go painted and then i want to go for a really muddy um, slopped up looking vehicle this one will be kind of an in-between other kits kind of thing. I may work on this one off and on, uh, but you know I'll do updates as I as I get through that. Here's another one that Peter sent, and it is the M47 Patton by Italeri. Now, I've done a little research on this particular kit, and apparently it's considered just overall as far as fit, accuracy detail all that kind of stuff considered one of the better kits that you can get um, even compared to a lot of uh, modern kits um, I've looked at the contents I haven't really torn them out of the bags or anything but it does look like a really really nice kit so my plan with this one however um, I'm gonna go a little bit different route on this one um, as a kid when I first started getting into the uh, armor stuff even before i was building armor models um one of my favorite uh war flicks was battle of the bulge and i know a lot of people cringe at that one it's just really you know inaccurate and blah 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 but as a kid i really liked it because it had lots of tanks and this was the type of tank that they used for the king tigers in um in it so that is my plan i'm going to do this one as colonel hessler aka robert shaw I'm going to do it as his vehicle. So it's going to be Panzer Gray and it'll have the appropriate markings on it. Um, and I thought that'd be kind of fun to do something, you know, a little bit different. So uh, kind of looking forward to this one. Uh, I'm not sure where this is going to fall into the lineup, but uh, this one's definitely be, going to be coming up as well.
All right, here's another one that's going to be coming up. I'm going to work in in between somewhere else, but this is, uh, as you can see, SDKFZ251-17. Um, it's got a two-centimeter gun on it. And this is a really nice kit. This one was sent to me by HD Barnes. And um, it looks like a really cool kit. Uh, Dragon kits, they can be really, really kind of tough sometimes, especially with the uh, um, instructions. And especially when it's a, a kit that's been rehashed over and over and over. But this one doesn't seem to be quite like that as far as you know being rehashed a lot. Sometimes you can tell you'll have a whole lot of this blue stuff it's, that's uh, parts that don't um, get used on the particular version that is on the box art. But um, I think it'll uh, I think it'll be really good. Um, Dragon kits are really good for detail and stuff. And I did some uh, reviews and their SDKFZ251 series seems to be pretty good. So looking forward to this one. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do as far as color scheme or any of that kind of stuff, but um, it should be a pretty fun kit to do. So I'm going to squeeze this one in uh, amongst the other builds I've got going on. Now here's a uh, something to note. This has a pretty nice figure in the box. So it'll be kind of nice because, you know, that's one of those things I really need to practice on is uh, figure painting and stuff. But this one will be squeezed in sometime in the near future as well. Okay, this one and the one I'm going to show next are kind of tied together. And here's how. Um, this, I got this kit. It's the OT3476. Um, it's supposed to be a flamethrower tank. It's uh, instead of having a machine gun here, it had a flame uh, flame projector. Um, I started building the kit, and uh, this kit it was for a, a group build. I think it was Joe's T34 group build. I think it was that. But this kit fought me every step of the way. There was a lot of stuff that didn't fit together right, and this is an example of what I was talking about with the last kit. Um, I think it's one of those kits that's been hashed and rehashed over and over and more parts added to make different versions and different variants of the same basic vehicle. So things start getting kind of jumbled up like this uh, uh, rounded edge in the front. I could not get it to fit. The one that the kit called for was totally, it did not fit at all. It stuck up too high in the top and the bottom and it just looked really weird. There was some other parts like that as well. And so, and then the, uh, the um, fuel canisters, the fuel cans, drums, whatever you want to call them for the back that were uh, the supply for the flame projector, uh, the photo etch on that and was, was horrible. It's like when I went to bend the parts, you know, they come pre-scored so you can bend them. They started breaking and everything else and it didn't offer any plastic parts <clears throat> to use instead. <clears throat> excuse me so at that point I just said I'm done so I set it aside decided what I was going to do with it so I finished it um, the basic build I've got the tracks in another box somewhere and um, the plan is this I'm going to use this as a practice piece uh, to practice winter whitewash using the hairspray chipping technique because I want to get that perfected before I go on to the next kit um, that I'm going to do that on. So this is going to be a practice piece for that. And I'm going to do, you know, I want to do a decent job on it. I'm not just going to use it as a as a paint mule, so to speak. Once I get it painted, I'll, you know, put it on, on the shelf with the rest of my, my kits. But um, I want to practice on this one first so I can move on to the next one. And this is it. This is the one that I want to end up doing a, a whitewash on. Uh, this kit right here, it's a specific vehicle for a specific person. And uh, this one was sent to me by Peter Person from Sweden as well. And this is a really, really, really nice kit. I'm really stoked with this one. And as you can see, there's hardly any uh, blue stuff. Um, so um, it's got, you know, the magic tracks, which are nice. Um, it's also got uh, some photo etch and extra parts specific to this vehicle. 
So because of that, um, I want to practice first before I dive in on this one. Um, another note on this one is while doing some research, I found some notes on someone who did this particular kit and there's some things missing on the kit that should be there according to photographs of his this person's actual vehicle. And um, it was in German, so I posted up on one of the forums or Facebook page or Google Plus page or something and asked if someone could translate it. And uh, Patrick Schaefer, um, he stepped up and he... Um, he translated the, the document that I'm speaking of, talking about the different uh, things that had to be done to make this even more accurate. So Patrick, if you're watching this, thanks again for doing that. I've been sitting on that uh, translation for a while now. Got it in a safe place on my uh, in my email, on my hard drive, and a print version of it because I didn't want to lose it because I thought I'd lost it once and he had to retranslate it. So Patrick, again, thanks a lot for doing that. So this is one that I'm really looking forward to doing, and I really kind of want to do it this winter uh, at some point. So keep an eye out for this one. If you see me working on the T34 uh, with the paint job, you all know it's getting close to this one. So here's another kit here that was uh, kindly donated by Peter Person. Um, it's the Magak or Magak, however you pronounce it, don't know. Uh, one and two it's a two-in-one kit so you can do either one of these two versions and I talked about it in a previous video um, but my plan on this is not to do it as an IDF vehicle but to do it as a Vietnam era US vehicle now this comes with a lot of stuff in it but in doing a little bit of research it has the sprues that I need to do the uh, M48 A3 which is the version that would have that was the most uh, prominent in Vietnam, from what I gather, and it has the exact sprues I need. So all I need to do is get the instructions, and I found those online. So all I have to do is print them up, and then I'll have what I need to build it. Plus, I'll have a whole lot of extra parts. So this one will probably be coming along in, uh, I would think, probably closer to summer. And last but not least, one kit that I almost forgot I had, one thirty fifth scale M four A three. 76 wet VVSS late so this is uh, another kit I'm going to be building at some point I have an extra barrel for it or uh, um, an aftermarket barrel for it so I can use that instead of using the two piece uh, plastic version but um, if you've seen any of my videos before, you know I have an affinity for the Asuka kits. They just, they're really good kits. Uh, they fit together really good. They're really well made. They're easy to put together. Nice detail. And uh, from what I gather, as far as accuracy goes, uh, they're one of the best. But this one will come later on. Um, and I have no specific plans for this one yet. So I may do a little bit of research and see what I can find to see if there's a specific vehicle I can do uh, that matches the feature of this vehicle, the features of this vehicle here. But uh, this one will come probably much later. Well, there you have it. That's the kits I have coming up for this year. And uh, bar anything weird happening, that is what I'm going to be working on. Um, I'm really going to try not to add any more kits to the stash till I get it, uh, you know, worn down a little bit and get some of them built. Um, unlike some people, I don't like to have too many on hand because then I just kind of, oh, what am I going to do next? And it's too easy to jump from kit to kit. So I want to get this, this uh, batch of kits whittled down quite a bit. We'll see. But... Um, that's the plans for uh, 2019 so hopefully all of y'all will stick around and watch what's going on and offer up advice and comments and all that stuff like everybody's been doing up to this point so anyway that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions or comments or any of that kind of stuff as always leave them below in the comments section I'll get back to you as soon as I can and uh, as always thanks for joining me here on plastic models by a regular dude and I will see you all later